I began working at the PS back in 1971 for, uh, yeah, the job. A new job. I got to watch new episodes of shows like Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers, and others, and review them. I had a super fun and awesome time until I quit my job in 1985. But quitting wasn't the worst part. The worst part was in 1974, me and my five other interns named Henry, Joey, Sean, Allison, and Sammy were ready to watch a new episode of Sesame Street. They expected it to be the first episode of season six, but what we saw was very different from what was broadcasted. I mean, very. I don't want to go far into the story because I was just, well, you know what, though. Let's tell the full story. Man, just how I could forget about this entire experience. The episode started, and we were ready for it, to view it. But that's when things started to get odd. The first thing I noticed was the quality was horrible. It started off with Big Bird walking down the street to visit Oscar. For some reason, Oscar looked, however, like mad, like something was horrible happening to him. Big Bird looked depressed as Oscar was yelling at him, even though he didn't do anything to anger him. I was confused by this scene. I could tell that the other interns were thinking the same way I, as I was. And then it cut to Elmo, or what looked like a prototype of him. He was sitting on a sofa, and the strange thing was, was Elmo did not exist in 1974, and he wasn't a puppet. He was in a live costume, similar to Big Bird, with a performer inside of him. Then he said something that shocked us. He said, Messing up all of you! Elmo's about to mess Sesame Street up and make everyone Elmo slaves! Elmo will hunt you down and rape you all! Then Elmo will wake up your face and kiss to death! You must all burn to hell! The next scene made some of the interns horrified. In the next shot, we saw Cookie Monster, except he was all red. Then he yelled, Listen up, everyone! I'm about to kill me, creator Jim Henson! He ended up doing just that. After killing Jim, he started eating him. He pulled out his brains, guts, heart, flesh, eyeballs, and other internal organs and ate all of them. It was disgusting. Then we saw Grover on an airplane. He had an empty beer in a bottle and a cell phone. Which was odd, because the cell phones didn't even exist back then. Grover suddenly got drunk and ran into the emergency exit. He opened the door and jumped out and fell into the ground and died. Then the next scene came. It scared us horribly. It showed Big Bird being thrown off a cliff into the ocean by an unknown source of, with an anvil on his leg. He struggled to free himself from the anvil underwater for around a minute or and drowned. The next scene showed Ernie sitting on a chair, a nose who was visible up above. Ernie was writing a diary. It said, Dear Diary, my life sucks. At this point, my life sucks so badly. I have no other choice than to end it all. If my suicide affects anyone negatively, I apologize in advance. Lastly, I must thank all my family and friends to support that they have given throughout my time here on Sesame Street. Goodbye. Sincerely, Ernie. Then he hanged himself on a nose cement template earlier. Bert then appeared. When he discovered a body of Ernie, he gave a blank expression. However, what he did next was just a weird yet a piling. He took now Ernie's corpse and ate his brain. I don't know why he did this. I just don't. The credits were Japanese, a distorted version of the music normally heard in a season 6 credits played. Then the episode finally ended. The other interns were shocked. Some of them were pissed off. I was just speechless. We were then searching for the maker. We couldn't find whoever made it. But what happened next was scary. We saw Elmo, or more likely someone in an Elmo mascot. Oddly enough, it was the same costume used in the episode. And he was insane and had a gun. He was coming and uh, shouting, SESAME STREET IS NOW OVER! He shot his gun all over the place, and me and the other interns thankfully got away. 
The guy in the costume was actually a psychopath who kidnapped the producers and created an awful episode. Me the other interns saw that in the news. The psycho got a life sentence in prison for a murder charge unrelated to the episode. Everybody was relieved. Anyway, the reason why I quit is when, in late 1985, the year Elmo appeared in his modern form, I was just resting on the couch watching TV, but suddenly I heard a voice. It whispered, Sesame Street's now over. Try to keep this interesting for Elmo. I looked back, and what I saw was horrifying. What I saw was an Elmo plushie, with blood, guts, and even bones on it. It had a knife in its hand, and a gun in the other. It had a creepy grin, and its eyes were empty black holes. And also had a note which read, Die, in Spanish. After some hours of trying to figure out what the note to, I discovered what it meant. You are the next victim. Elmo will chop your hands to chop you up. Someday I will be next. The end.